Hey guys, Brian Schultz here with Cape Falcon Kayak with a possible update to our online Greenland paddle building class. Now, if you're not familiar with the Greenland paddle building class, you can check it out on my website. It's an hour long instructional course. It's completely free and it shows you the super easy beginner friendly way that I used for many years to teach my kayak building students how to build their own Greenland paddles. Now, Overall, the course is fantastic, but there's one thing I've never liked about it, and that is the coating portion of the class. I've tried lots of different ways to coat Greenland paddles over the years, and I've never been happy with any of them. Any kind of a hard encapsulation, like a varnish or an epoxy, tends to crack and deteriorate and let moisture crawl underneath. It's also really, really difficult to refinish, but any softer thing, like an oil, ends up just deteriorating way too quickly and the paddles don't look very good after a while, although there's not usually very many functional issues issues with that. Now, the compromise that I ultimately came to was coats of tongue oil, which then I let dry, and then I rubbed hard wax into them over the top of it. And that turns out to be a pretty good compromise. It gives you a finish that's kind of halfway between an oil and a wax, but it's not super beginner friendly to apply and it's expensive to buy the different components to get that kind of a buildup. So I've always been looking for a different way to coat my Greenland paddles. And recently I think I found what may be the perfect coating for a Greenland paddle. And that is Rubio Monocoat. Now what Rubio is, is a hard wax oil finish. It's made for furniture and it's made for floors. And I first got introduced to it a few years ago when we were building countertops for our house. I built some Douglas fir countertops. I didn't want to use epoxy. I didn't want to use any kind of a clear coat. And I definitely didn't want to use butcher block oil because it just wouldn't hold up. So I tried Rubio Mono Coat. I was super skeptical because it's really expensive and it just doesn't seem possible that something that could be a single coat of wax and oil mixture could possibly be durable enough. Two years later, those counters look exactly the same as they did a couple years ago, and that is with a very soft wood, which would be Douglas fir. So I have been using this on everything lately. I've been using it on furniture. I actually just use it on the floors in a tiny house. It goes on in a single coat, although I do like to come back and do a second coat of their maintenance oil over it. It just gives it a little bit more of a gloss. It's completely non-toxic. It's really easy to apply. And even though it seems expensive at first, the labor that you save and the increased coverage of the product, I think makes it comparable to just about anything else you could put on something. So that kind of brings me to where we are here today. And that is the possibility of using this stuff on Greenland paddles. Now, I can't say for sure at this point whether this is gonna hold up in the water or in the salt water, but given how well it's held up to me scrubbing a Douglas fir counter every day with abrasive pads and soap, I have a feeling that this might be a really good product. Now, the other cool thing about Rubio Monocode is it comes in these little 20 milliliter sample size bottles that are pretty inexpensive, and it comes in 55 different colors, all the way from something that's gonna barely add any tint to your wood to something that'll turn your paddle completely white or completely black if you're looking for that sort of an effect. Now, a quick note on color, the Pure is the Rubio product that doesn't have any tint in it. The Natural actually does have a little bit of tint. Now, when you apply this stuff, you're either gonna take the straight product or the product mixed with a little bit of their drying compound, and you're gonna put it on a very small scrap of cloth because you don't wanna to lose too much of the compound into your applicator. And then you're gonna wipe the entire surface of your paddle. It doesn't have to be really wet. You just need to barely cover all of the wood. You wanna get it done within five minutes and you're gonna follow that with either a blue or a white scrubby pad. And you're gonna really scrub the product into the wood grain. Now, after that, you're gonna take a dry rag and you're gonna wipe all the excess off. It's super important to make sure that it's completely dry when you're done. And that's just basically the same thing you're gonna see in the Rubio instructions. Now, you can use this stuff straight, which is really economical because it's only 10 bucks for one of those little bottles, or you can purchase a little bit of their drying compound. If you use this stuff straight, the cure time is about three weeks. If you use it with the drying compound, the cure time is about one week. Now, I went ahead and purchased some of the drying compound because there's no way I'm gonna wait three weeks to try out a new paddle, but it just depends on how much money you wanna spend on coating your Greenland paddle. So, once again, I can't say if uh, Rubio Monocoat is or isn't going to be 
the best new thing for coating Greenland paddles, but what I can tell you is that it has held up incredibly well on all of my other projects over a long period of time. I love how this stuff feels on the paddle. It is just the perfect feel in my hand. It's actually the exact sensation that I'm looking for when I'm using my old process of putting oil and wax over top of that, but it's a lot easier to apply. It's less expensive, it takes less time, and I feel like it's a little bit more beginner friendly. And I think all of those are great reasons to give Rubio a shot on your next Greenland paddle. So if you try this and it works out, make sure that you let me know. I can't wait to get feedback from people, see if this is working out, see if this could potentially be a better solution for coating Greenland paddles, because it's definitely something that we need. All right, that's it for now. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. You can check me out on my website, capefalconkayaks.com, where I've got a whole bunch more skin on frame building videos. You can find me on Instagram, at Cape Falcon Builds, where I post a daily build blog of everything that I do here in the shop, including time-lapse videos. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching, take care. I'll see you next time.